or simply Greg Suri View Review. Today we are just outside the downtown center of um, Montreal, very close to home. We have the Mini Cooper, our Mini Cooper Electric, a car that we don't feature often enough on this channel. But today we're going to talk about um, how important having a robust charging network is in an urban environment such as Montreal. There's always a lot of talk that uh, people in cities can't own EVs because there's no place to charge them or there are simply not enough places to uh, charge them. Uh, in many, many instances, there's just no place to uh, charge them. Uh, I think we have that problem not solved, but pretty close to being solved here in Montreal and in Quebec in general at the moment. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna show you what a proper urban charging network looks like. Uh, we're gonna hit up some level two sites, we're going to hit up some rapid charger sites, and maybe we'll throw in a couple of um, oddball sites in this film as well. And I do apologize if, it's, um, if the audio is a bit off. I forgot my microphones at home, and it is quite windy today, so we have to film this on the uh, GoPro. So sorry about that, come along with us, and we're gonna go check out the ur urban charging sites here in Montreal. Along beyond the Montreal, there are about 2,400 EV chargers. Uh, about 95% of those are going to be these low add energy L2 sites that output 7.2 kilowatts and they cost roughly about a dollar to a dollar fifty an hour to use. You'll mostly see them here curbside on city streets or even in uh, private parking lots or city owned par parking lots. They're fairly common, they're everywhere. You'll see them in two post, three post, four post setups, super common. So this one here exactly, this is what it looks like. You'll have all your circuitry and your breakers will be inside. This is just an, uh, another street scene charging. This one here is the car. This would be in downtown Montreal. Again, they're not as frequent in the city center. You'll find them mostly in underground parking lots or further out from the um, main streets, but they definitely are around. And as you see here, it's just driving down a regular street. This Tesla is plugged. So yeah, Circuit Electric, they built up quite an excellent network. Uh, I've never had a problem with them, so we're gonna go check out those sites now. We are in the Mini. The battery is cold, so let's head out on the road and uh, try to warm it up. So we are approaching Atwater Market now. We only have two seasons here, construction and winter, and some of the finest roads in the world, as you can tell by this broken up pavement. So we're just gonna pull in here and start the charge. So this is our first site. This is at Atwater Market, so this is pretty urban. This is like not in the heart of the city, but not far off. We're going to plug the mini in. These are add energy or flow 50 kilowatt dispensers. We're going to plug the mini in because we do have to charge. Now you can use an RFID card, which I also forgot at home along with my uh, microphones, but uh, we'll use the app to initiate the charge here and we'll show you how that all works out. But this is the first site. So this is one of many pretty common fast charger setups here in Montreal. So we're gonna get a little bit of a charge here, then I'm gonna head over to a, a level two site just around the corner and to give you an idea of what it looks like. App and it is extremely windy. here because I forgot the RFID card like an idiot. Again, these aren't very um, fancy sites. They just work. That's what you need. It's just reliable. They work. You don't need fancy lights. You don't need screens showing you ads. You just need a network that works properly. So it's just finishing up its pre-charge tests. And that's it. It's on. It's clicked. already charging so we'll stay here for maybe 10-15 minutes while I have my coffee and then we'll head out to that level 2 site so there we are I don't know if you see it 
We are at 21 kilowatts. The battery is stone cold in this car. I was sitting outside last night and I don't live very far from here. So the battery did not get warm. But what's nice too is sometimes you have um, free offers. If you are next to a, a Couchard or they'll even have special deals at uh, certain con other convenience stores or bakeries around the area where if you're charging, you could go get a free coffee or some sort of drink or some sort of snack. So that's another nice bonus. And here the charging, it's um, it's about 12 or $13 an hour. So not, not too expensive. So we'll charge up here a bit. I feel really stupid for forgetting my microphones. This would be a lot easier. But yeah, we've already charged up about 50 cents. 22 kilowatts until the battery warms up. So again, very easy to use. Tap your RF the RFID card or an app. Again, a dollar an hour to a use. This area is really starting to come alive. This is why I wanted to come out early and start filming. It's going to get very busy here in the next few hours. But yeah, these are everywhere throughout the city. If you can't find one, you're obviously not looking because you don't have to look very hard. These are everywhere throughout Montreal. Very cheap, densely populated area, access to easy EV charging, curbside EV charging, which is extremely important in an, in an urban environment. I wish more cities would deploy these as we have here. So we'll unplug here. I just want to show you how it works. We will go to the next site. We'll show you a few more of these and a few more um, rapid charger sites. But uh, yeah, this is how it is in Montreal. This is how it should be in, in a lot of places with easy, EV charging for people who don't have access to it or people who are just out for the night at a restaurant or out shopping this is this is how it should be so we are at a urban rapid charging site now this is a pretty common setup the 50 kilowatt and 100 kilowatt dispenser chargers these are actually power split based on my experience but also over here we have two 24 kilowatt rapid chargers as well these ones are becoming more and more common in uh, these type of urban environments and we have an 180 kilowatt that's an abb terra 184 those are pretty common as well those are getting deployed rapidly more along highways and um, highway service areas but yeah this is what a typical site looks like i have one of these by my house we'll go and visit that as well but how many do we have here one two three four five so we have five cabinets here and yeah this is a very urban site this is a very urban site in the middle of a neighborhood there's a kia charging up here but yeah this is how it is so we're actually by uh, my house right now i got my microphone back up i stopped at home but yeah this is my uh, setup by my house it's two 24 kilowatt um, rapid chargers and the usual 100 kilowatt and 50 kilowatt posts as well uh circuit electric as always so we're over here uh, there is an, an Ionic 5 and a Chevy Bolt that's charging it as well. This is actually a pretty popular spot. Uh, this is a lot of rideshare users use this spot. It's right between the airport and uh, downtown. We're about 12 kilometers from the city center, but roughly where we were this morning at uh, Atwater Market. Again, a very popular spot. There's two Couchard uh, ABB Terra 184s going in just around the corner. And there's also a charge point site at the uh, local grocery store. Uh, I do apologize for, for the uh, wind again. So um, yeah, it's uh, very, we, all, we already knew that uh, there was no issues charging in and around Montreal or, or Quebec in general. Uh, but this is this is pretty much how it is. You have you have your mix of, of level two and you have your mix of rapid chargers every, everywhere. So just to give you a quick overview of this site, the minis here, we're plugged in to the 24 kilowatt. The Ionic 5 and the Bolt are charging up as well. We're right on the corner. There's pretty good services here. There's a McDonald's, Tim Hortons. And like I said, we're literally just a block away from my house. Again, as I mentioned previously, this is a popular site with uh, rideshare drivers. As you can see, the Ionic 5 and the, and the Bolt, as I mentioned, and the Mini here. And we are literally right outside my house now at the post on my street. Maybe we're about 
20 meters away from my house and this is where we're going to end this film again uh, this is how charging should be done in an urban environment uh, we already knew from previous videos how good the charging was here i just figured i'd again show you around how it is in a more populated urban environment no issues charging today all the rapid chargers worked all the level two chargers worked it's a very reliable network very cheap to use and if you made it this far maybe think about clicking like and subscribe i do enjoy making these films sometimes they're a bit expensive to make sometimes like this one they're not as bad so your like and subscribe really helps me out so that's it. We're going to end it here. We're going to end it for Circuit Electric. And uh, we'll see you next time.